Welcome into another video in our continuing conversation on keeping haircutting simple. Haircutting is supposed to be simple. Haircutting is supposed to be fun. Let's not make it tricky. Let's not make it complicated. We're continuing discussion today on backhand clipper cutting. Clipper held backwards in our hand, two fingers holding our comb. This is our setup for our backhand cutting. I'm going to lower my client in the chair just a little bit. And I'm now going to show you our combing position. When we've got the two tools held together in our hand properly, they set us up for this. They set us up for our ability to comb the hair, to comb the hair, and to comb the hair before we want to come in and cut the hair. And the important thing to recognize about this technique is when I am combing the hair, when I am combing the hair, where is the running clipper blade? It's not running now so I don't have to talk over it for the video, but if it were running, we're gonna turn it on when we get ready to cut. Where's the running blade? That's right, it's over there. It's turned out away from the customer. It's safely secured backwards away from the customer. I promise you, watch somebody overhead layering with a forehand grip like this, with the two tools held forward. They're gonna come in to comb the hair, and they're gonna accidentally comb the hair with a running clipper. That's called oops, that's called I'm having a bad day at the office. You don't wanna do that. The whole point of backhand cutting is to isolate the blade backwards in your hand so that you can comb and hold and comb and hold and comb and hold with the blade running but securely turned out of the way. That's keep hair cutting simple. That's backhand interior layering technique. In the next video, we're going to share some cutting techniques. Thanks for tuning in today. Like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Never miss a video. I'm Ivan Zoot and I'm happy to have you here. Have a great day.